Good afternoon. Welcome to Royal Oak Community United Methodist Church's Good Friday Scripture Reading. This is not a full service, it's just a mini service just to focus so we can get our hearts and minds around the actions, the loving actions of Jesus, the sacrifice that Jesus is making today on Good Friday. Dear God, please come into our hearts this afternoon. Please, no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, help us to understand the magnitude of the sacrifice that your son gave for us and the blessing of the salvation and forgiveness that we have received as a result of that. Help us to take the example of his unselfish love, put it into our hearts, and bring it out of our hearts in many, many, many ways, new ways, creative ways, exciting ways, ways so we can be moving more fully into the resurrection and Easter Sunday. Amen. Our scripture reading this afternoon is from the Gospel of Mark. This is chapter 15, verses 1 through 39. As soon as it was morning, the chief priest held a consultation with the elders and the scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him, You say so. And then the chief priest accused him of many things, and Pilate asked him again, have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you? But Jesus made no further reply, and Pilate was amazed. Now, at the festival, he used to release a prisoner for them, anyone who they asked for. And now there was a man called Barabbas in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. And so the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. And then he answered to them, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have them release Barabbas instead. And Pilate spoke to him again, then what do you wish me to do with the man who you call king of the Jews? And the crowd shouted back, Crucify him! And then Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted back all the more, Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers led Jesus into the courtyard of the palace, that is the governor's headquarters, and they called together a whole cohort, and they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, they spat on him, and they knelt down in mock homage to him. And after mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak. They put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to crucify him. They compelled a passerby who was coming from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. And then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. 
And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, King of the Jews. And with that, they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha! You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from that cross. In the same way, the chief priest, along with the scribes, who were also mocking him among themselves, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. And those who were crucified with him also taunted him. And when it was noon, darkness came over the land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he is calling Elijah. And someone ran and filled a sponge with a sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. But then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And now when the centurion stood facing him, saw that in this way he breathed his last, the centurion said, truly, this was God's son. And that is the Good Friday reading of the scripture. The words of God for the people of God. Let us give thanks to God. And so, beloved rockers and friends, for all of you who are ever watching this, wherever you are, let the mercy, the grace, the redemption of Jesus flow down upon you. Let all of you be lifted up by the love that happened 2,000 years ago, but the love that continues to happen because God pours his grace down on us continually. And let us give thanks for all of the suffering and death of Jesus. Let us give thanks for all the love he brought into this world, for all the teachings he gave us to live by. In his holy name, amen.